we return April 20th to Birmingham. You can register for tickets, octagonmma.com. Be the first in line. I have a feeling Mark Goddard might have his hands full here in this feature bout of our preliminary card. There's the tip spot odds. Frimpong, white shorts, blue corner, Shiroki, black shorts, red corner, itching to get this underway and get his hands on Dennis Frimpong. Off we go, Luke. Let's see his approach here, because we know what all the way to beat Frimpong. We've seen it. George Stane showed us the blueprint. You get him to the mat, you stay on top of him, you tire him out, he doesn't try and get up and you beat him. Frimpong, an awkward striker, long limbs, can throw shots from anywhere. Is it really worth it for, for Jan Shiroki to stay on the outside? And he hits oh, him. The moment he can, go. he gets fast from the back. It's good control there of the wrist, though, from Frimpong as he tries to work his way out. Needs to be kept on the legs here. Splits them. And this is where Shiroki wants it, right? You talk about height and rates and advantage. This is where it's not, right? Definitely not. It's a good advantage for, for Shiroki. He's so strong in this position for Frimpong. But he's somehow doing well to control those wrists. Going to maybe look for a switch here or some sort of Kimura setup. No, nope, goes over the top, looks for dig underhook. Now seeing looking for the switch. And we've seen with the likes of Andra Petrushek and even Jan Malak fighting Jan Shiroki, there is something when he gets hold of you, right, that people realize, oh, he's got a different kind of strength. He, he is as strong as he looks, basically, Luke. Yeah, yeah and, and you can see that from Frimpong, kind of weird and out there, not quite sure what to do with himself. But now he's dug that underhook under. Done a good job there to get that. Can he lift? Tries to get that beautiful work off the fence there. But Jan Soroki adjusts. Beautiful little trip to create space to try and work out. That was very, very good. And I'm sure after the Staines fight, he's done a lot of work in this position. You said it in the commentary meeting, you said that's the blueprint. You said it on the walkout, that is the blueprint to beat Frimpong, right? And this is the same model, the same route that uh, Shiroki is looking to go. Yeah, so now he just needs to keep it here. And I, what I haven't seen Jan do is drop to, to the legs. There's been a few moments where he could have got this takedown early on. He decided not to, kept it on the feet. And Frimpong now, Athletically trying to escape out. Nice little knee on the inside as well. Elbows to the head. Now he's finally dropping down. This is what it's all about now for Frimpong. If he can defend this takedown, it's very, very important. Good push on the head. Gets that knee high. Doesn't want to search for that guillotine. That attaches him. That, that's going to make it easy for Jan to try and look to get this takedown. Yeah, Frimpong has got absolute trust in his grappling and jujitsu. But that experience. Oh, you can hear Frimpong talking to him now. That is what it's all about. You're in for a, a long chat for 15 minutes, potentially, with Dennis Frimpong when you enter the cage. He's just such an awkward guy to deal with because of the height, and I would know especially because I have the same frame. That height makes such a big difference if you use it well. Frimpong uses it well, and then he whispers in your ear, how you doing, mate? <laughs> having a good night? No, I'm having fun here. You know, he, he's awkward in every way you can think of. Manages to escape. Oh, oh kind of trips going backwards there. Great conversion from Yan. Did very, very well to defend that first takedown, did Frimpong. Kind of turned his back, and Yan just launched himself at him and got it to the mat. This is where we need to see the evolution of Frimpong. He needs to get back to his yeah, feet. He was and not able to, to do that against Staines. He didn't even try to get back to his feet. He tried to play jiu-jitsu. And now still trying to play jiu-jitsu a little bit. Gets on the knee, much better. Gets to his feet with that cross grip. Nice That's work. what we want to see. That can make Frimpong an absolute Against oh, his oh, he's got. You heard Jan. He actually grimaced there. You heard a little whelp from Jan, uh, Jan Shiroki then. Well, that's what can make Frimpong a problem. If he can get up off the floor, if he can continuously do that, Shiroki's going to get tired as he keeps trying to have to push forward, push forward, push forward. And if Frimpong has done it, but if he can continue to do that, get up off the ground. That's what he didn't do against George Staines. Didn't even try to do. So now he's done that, that shows his development in this fight. Yeah, coming through, looking to prove a point here, but just having to deal with a lot of pressure from Shiroki. Oh, oh nice knee. knee! That's hurt him! That has hurt him! You saw there the grimace once again. Oh, big moment for Dennis Frimpong there. But I don't like how he tries to attack this neck. Maybe he's, he's got a 10 finger now, oh, he's which going is for interesting. It. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 finger choke attempt. Hard to do it with him at, at, without his back against the cage, right? His opponent. Nice knee again, that hurt him. Oh, again. another one. Your done, baby. Your done, baby, is Dennis Frimpong's words as this battle continues. And now maybe looking for this Kimura to try and turn it into a sweep. And he looks oh, to get it. To it and he's to taken the back. The back. Beautiful work from Frimpong here. 
and now creates a space. 30 oh. seconds left. Oh, and big Jan breaths. is hurt. Siroki is in, tr in trouble now. And this, this is the where, oh. This is where Finpron comes alive. You can see now, the cockiness. The hunter becomes the hunted. Dennis Frimpong. Oh, look at this good combination. Shiroki trying to protect that midsection. Something's happened there, Luke. Sweet. Oh, beautiful jump. jumping team. A nice frame as well. Looking here for the finish. Only five seconds left of this round. There we go. And that oh. is a problem. They will bring it back. But for I'm me, sure. it would definitely be a Frimpong round because of the damage to the ribs. And here we see him fainting. This is when he's dangerous, and, and oh, Soroki's and really confident. hurt, really hurt. Yeah, Looks look like play that. in there at the moment, as he's being stalked by Frimpong. Look how loose Frimpong is now, and all he's got to be aware of now is those right hands coming in and over. And Frimpong now he goes to that hook kick. Now Frimpong needs to be professional. He needs to not be so overconfident. He needs to not have so much talk. Let's get the job done. We're Owen really? Team. Let's really? go in there, let's make a statement, and let's finish Jan Soroki. There's a huge statement you make there with the difference in, you know, in the experience between these two. If he can circle out and finish and get a knockout, it, it would mean huge things, rather than talking, doing flash hook kicks and all this stuff. You just needs to go in there, basic boxing, throw that kick through the middle, and he can get this finish. Now he just needs to get himself off the fence. Yeah, Jan Soroki has worked his way back into this position, which is better for him. Threatening and, with the t a choke again, Luke. And I would give up on these guillotine attempts. I think they're, they're negative for the game They're plan. opening the midsection shots, though. We're saying that, and he used that underhook to make space for the knee, and you saw again Shiroki struggle with that shot to the midsection. Now some clean striking from Fring Pong is all we need. We just oh. need... There's that team that they've been talking about. We just need him planted into the ground, move his feet well, avoid those takedowns, and he's got complete control of this one. Oh, and again... No point taking the risks at the moment with the spinning attacks or trying to look flash and get the finish. Straight shots, down the middle, let's land that left hand. Oh, and use the body to open That's the beautiful. head, right? Yeah. That seems beautiful, continue that. Basics, long yeah. shots. And you can see, just look at the way the guard of Shiroki is so low, he's protecting the midsection more than his chin. Oof. And three minutes remain yeah, for Frimpong to make a statement here, Brian. Yeah, Dennis Frimpong has never been Knocked out. Actually, one of his strengths, he believes, is how hard he is to hit. He, he talks about that a lot. But he is open, his chin is in the air, and Jan Soroki likes to sling that right hand. Ooh. i just like to see pressure. And boy, there's that right hand that he slings. Pressure and straight shots from Frimpong. That's what I'd like to see. Get in his face, put the pressure on him. Halfway through round number two here. Because we know Jan is broken. He's broken to the body. He's in a lot of pain. Need to get, get yeah, him, give him a way to quit. He wants to quit. Frimpong needs to, to, to guide him towards that. Not let him survive. Oh. And again, that's... A oh, big moment there for Jan Shiroki. Ducked under the kick, got the body lock, and down to the mat. That's how he failed in the first round. That's what, exactly what happened to him. Now he needs to get back to his feet. That's why I would have stuck to basics. Go low, teeps. Stay away from the high kick. Stay away from the flash stuff. Because he's in survival mode right now, Soroki. And that's a huge W for him to get him down to the ground. And this is essential now on the flip side for Soroki to keep this spot right. And this is when experience shines yeah. through. That's what I'm saying. Bring Pong lacking that a little bit and allowing this position to even take place. You know, Soroki's out of this fight. He's finished if Bring Pong wants him to be. He needs to get back up to his feet. Otherwise, Shiroki can build from here, take this round, steal it, and then steal the third. Clock is ticking down. Frimpong trying to work back up, using that same, getting that grip under the chin. And the leg is laced at the moment, that's the problem. Needs to try and free that left leg. Looks for that Kimura again. Needs to be careful Shiroki doesn't turn into his own attack, but uses that to get back to his feet. Smart from Frimpong, good work. Baits him with the Kimura and stands back up. Go for the traditional arm drag here if he wants to escape. 45 seconds now left in round number two. Nice little knee. Oh, they're nice. And, again, and the gum shield's come out. That says everything, I right? I think that's... Oh, is no, that, that Dennis's? That is, I think it might be Frimpong's gum shield, not sure. 
Might be wrong there. Goes oh, back and the again. again. Switch as well. Oh, he just too slippy. Didn't quite have the grip, and now ends up on bottom. 30 seconds. Looking now maybe to use oh, those. Oh, he's got limbs. a great triangle. He really does have a great triangle. Needs to get put on the hip, put on the hip, stand back up, 10 seconds to go. Doesn't look good in the judge's eyes, being on, on the back, finishing out this round. We should have, and they did put in our ear that that was a mistake with the first graphics. They will be amended, so we will be up to date with the open scoring as we get set to go into round number two. Every round in front of favour, if this graphic is correct. Again oh. with that high kick, messes up straight away, but manages to... Oh, he might... Scramble his way up back. onto the back. And this is within the first few seconds of round number three. Look, this is a great spot for Frimpong. Amazing how that happened. And Frimpong prides himself on his submissions. And his jiu-jitsu will be looking to attack. Yeah, needs to be careful because Jan's got such a... Oh, he's a, trapping the arm. Yeah, he's looking for the arm bar and, yeah. early. Early arm bar attempt here, which is a risky one. Again, being the entertainer, going all out. Knocks that playing safe. Got his ankles crossed here as well. The, the thing is, because they're such different body types, Jan Soroki can just spin inside the guard and get on top of Frimpong if he allows him to. He needs to make sure he wraps up one of the arms at all times. If he doesn't keep that arm wrapped, see how he's got that left wrist wrap? Yeah. If he doesn't keep that, he, Jan can spin. Because the, the guard is so big, there's so much space from Frimpong. You can see him now. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to turn his hips turn inside. In. And he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Wow. Because he didn't control the wrists. Oh, he, he's being hindered a little bit by the leg. And now the body lock. So now, now he managed to get it. And Frimpong. Baseball bat defense there from Jan Siroki, old school. Well, Jan Siroki was in this position a lot with Stefano Catacoli. Oh, and he comes out. Great work from Siroki. Oh, I thought that was a little issue with the foot. I think it was a bit of footwork from uh, Frimpong. Three and a half minutes just That's under swing to go. And a miss from Siroki. Looks tired now, a bit laboured. I'd like to see him give up on those head kicks that, of course, they've always been the reason we've got to the ground. Let's kick to the body. Let's see that tip to the body, go to the inside leg, and then use the hands. And just move your feet. Good outing this, though, from Frimpong. Beautiful oh, yeah. right hand. That's nice. Stepping elbow, followed by... And again, look at how he gets him on the end of the shot. Yeah, beautiful. That's all he needs to do now. Nothing else. Doesn't need anything else. Wants to show off. Needs to watch that wild right hand from Soroki, and that's it. And you take this win home, you take this victory home. You know, a guy who's 0-2 in professional mixed martial arts. I know he won in Octagon Challenge, but 0-2 here needs to get that first win on the record. What a place to do it in Newcastle. Yeah. First time we've been here, first show of the year. And he said in, in the interviews after the George Staines fight, he said, look, let's let's judge that fight in a couple of years' time. He said, George is world-class, like, he's on his way to big things. He said, so am I. People will look back at what we do in the sport and then they will judge that fight again. This unorthodox striking style of Frimpong is so hard to read for Soroki. I like to see him step in with some knees as well. And it gets harder when there's no explosion, no energy, right? When you're tired. All he's doing is waiting, waiting, breathing, breathing, throwing that big overhand. That's all he can, can that's all his brain can muster up. That's the thought process for him. Because he's so tired and, and he's so hard to deal with all that range. Nice team to the body, that one hurt. And then followed up with some shots. Beautiful movement. This is better for Frimpong. Now get off the cage. Ah, and he misses the cage. Again goes for that neck. Credit to Shiroki, though. Found a way to work into range and get the clinch again. Yeah, deep breaths now coming from uh, Brimpong as well. Got double underhooks digging in here, though. Making it difficult, even though Shiroki's round the hips. Needs to get those legs wider. Needs to use the hips to bring him above the, the waist. But yeah, I just don't think he has the athleticism or the energy right now to, to get this takedown. That's the great thing about long athletes like Frimpong. Pong. You just have that leverage on your side at all moments. Even though he's got under the hips, even though he's got his hands secured, he still has that extra lift because of the size difference. And that takes energy as we go into our last minute. And I don't believe 
a takedown's going to be enough for Sorokin. Well, listen, it's not. We know that on the scorecards. We know now with the open scoring, Dennis Frimpong is two rounds ahead, stepping into this round. Shiroki needs a finish, and he's 45 seconds away from letting this fight slip through his fingers, and what a turnaround for Frimpong, right? Calling for this on social media, people questioning the experience gap, but now on the verge of his first professional, uh, you know, official professional victory, and his first one inside the octagon cage. Yeah, 30 seconds to go. Now Frimpong can open up a little bit. Needs to be careful of that big shot. Looking for that Kimura setup again. Hasn't managed to make this work on the sweep yet. Needs to throw that leg a little bit heavier on the hip. And look, he's looking at the corners, Spring Pong, and talking to them <laughs> as they try and corner his man. Do you think he gets many Christmas cards? <laughs> Do you think he yeah, gets? <laughs> all of them. All of them saying that you've been a bad boy <laughs> and you deserve coal. Nothing very, very Christmassy. Great fight between these two men. And respect afterwards. Respect that, that's shown. what it's about. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how judges score this fight. All three judges score this fight 30-27 in the favor of the winner. Dennis Demines Frimpong! Dennis Frimpong, not bad for a keyboard warrior, right? Not too bad for a keyboard warrior, eh? You know what? The promotion was right. It was a mismatch. I showed that. He didn't have anything for me. I still, yeah, I still look sexy. Uh, just have a few people I want to speak to on the mic here while I have it, yeah? There was a couple people I wanted to call out, but they legged it down the featherweight, yeah? One of them, he knows his own name, blocked me on Instagram, yeah? Used to be a bit of a, I won't even say it, but everyone knows who he is. One of them is a copper, and everyone knows I hate the cops, but he can't run forever, because one of my mates is coming down there to chase him. On top of that, there's a few other names that are in that tip sport game changer that I want to fight. I wanted to finish this cunt, he's a tough bastard, yeah? But Conrad Drisco was there fighting him. He couldn't finish him, and he's 14 and two. I'm one and two, so what's the fucking story? Put me in that game changer and let me change the game. I'm a mismatch, and I show how I deal with mismatches. Let's go. A lot of words as usual from you, Dennis Frimpong. Line in the path for what you want next. Outside of that, to get your first official victory, to get your victory in here in Octagon, what does it mean to you, Dennis? That was not my first official victory in Octagon. Everyone watched, and if you haven't, go watch it. Ireland versus England, Challenger series, yeah? I smoked two guys, and they were both very good fighters. And they were professional rules. Bar the first one, no elbows, but there's another promotion doesn't have elbows, so I suppose they're all exhibition fights as well. Anyway, the point is, I showed how I deal with that shit. I showed how I deal with the pressure. It might be my first official win, but it's not my first official win in life. I'm always winning. There we go, Dennis Frimpong, an honor to call your fights once more. Give it up. One, one more thing, one more thing. All the haters online here that don't fucking fight, if you want to come see me, Manchester top team, Ashton Underline, come down there and inspire me on a Tuesday morning, mate, yeah? <laughs> Give it out one more time. Dennis the Menace Frimpong! We return April 20th to Birmingham. You can register for tickets, octagonmma.com. Be the first in line.